to see us perform live, use that big brain of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I'm Hutch, and uh, now, Happy New Year. Woo! Oh, yeah. We did it. 2020. We did the naked thing. Baby. I never understood that. What? The naked baby. Are you talking about the naked baby from like. Alice, uh, what, Ellie, Ellie McVeal? No, I'm talking about the New Year's it, baby. It has a sash. It's not naked. Wait a minute. It's what? <laughs> so sash. it's just born. you never seen the New Year's baby? I have no idea what you were talking about. Yeah, it's like the New Year's mascot. You know, like Christmas gets Santa Claus and Easter gets the Easter bunny. No, and... there were, I, Dick Van Dyke is the only like there's New a, Year's there's like a little mascot baby. I can think it's, of. It's a baby. He's wearing and a like ball. A oh, you mean Dick Clark. And it's oh, Hawkins. yeah. D- D- Dick Van Dyke <laughs> is <laughs> Mary Poppins. That's, right. That's right. Yeah, no, he's the New Year's baby. Some Dick person. <laughs> like the the start of the year, the, because yeah, the year is only one day new. old. This is well, terrible. Well, well, well while we're talking about holidays, what's your favorite holiday? That's Ooh. what I want to know. I, I would like to start. Okay. My favorite holiday is Christmas, <laughs> because we get together and celebrate the birth of uh, you know one individual, Brian. That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we typically eat a lot of sushi. A lot of sushi. Yeah. So if you uh, are new to the channel, my birthday is Christmas Day. And uh, I make it about me. And <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing with Christmas birthday people. Yeah, man. I'm also an only child that did not oh, help. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so my mom's birthday is on the 20th. And mm. I knew, like, before I even met Brian, how important it was. If your birthday is around Christmas, yeah. your birthday present has to be in birthday paper. Yes. Cannot yeah. put it in Christmas paper. That's fucking rude. Oh. My mother if is. You yeah. have huh. people who are born around Christmas fucking wrap their presents in birthday paper. Yeah. Do not get them one present for both. Yeah. Get them two presents. Even if it's two small things, make sure it's two presents. My my mother's birthday is December twenty eighth. Okay. Oh damn. Um yeah. so yeah, you always have to get two different presents, and you have to give the better one on their birthday. Yes. Um, yes. Yep. 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 Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually the rules. That's the rule. That's the Christmas birthday Now that was rules. true, and uh, that's that was true when I got into my like mid teens. Yeah. Before then, Christmas was the better present. Mm. When I when I got up in the morning, you started getting sullen. <laughs> Yeah, but then <laughs> as I got older, my, my parents made my birthday present the better present. Mm. So gotcha. that's nice. why you are the way you are. Uh, probably I, there's a lot of reasons, but <laughs> I know Christmas is a really good one. That's the big one, you know. I mean, we always uh, we always have a lot of fun celebrating. We do, for the last few years. We actually don't live with you now, but we've been set, uh, putting up a Christmas tree and whatnot. At your house, yeah, and I've I've missed the uh, the RC Cola train. Yeah, well, don't worry, it's still around. We can I, I can bring it back over if you want. I, I don't have space for that right now. <laughs> we don't have right. space for it. I, I need a tree first, but uh. <laughs> yeah. So, Brian, is yours Christmas? I would say probably. <laughs> probably, I do. Li- no, if you like, want to repeat, that's fine. I honestly do love Christmas the most, and not just because of my birthday and whatnot. I do. Love the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. I like how a lot of people are mostly mostly happy, with the exception of like you know, there's always that like holiday depression. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But for, otherwise, most people are pretty like happy about stuff. People are happy to have days off. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. And I just enjoy being around that. I atmosphere. love it when it snows around Christmas too, though. It used to snow mm-hmm. every year because I lived in the mountains, but then I moved all down here, and it's like we'll snow, but it's going to be in February, and it's only one time. So. Mm-hmm. Man, I've only ever had one white Christmas. Really? Yeah. And it was when I lived in uh, Pilot Mountain mm-hmm. in the foothills. Yeah, so. of course. <laughs> and I, I'm never going to get it here. I'm just accepted. It only snows here in like yeah. freaking February. Yeah, it's like That's when winter starts like for like Raleigh. I've, I've only had one, two white Christmases. One, the one I was born on, so I don't remember that one. <laughs> and uh, the first year me and Brittany got together, uh, we uh, my my Christmas. That's what, how you know. It was my vagina Brittany. brought the snow. <laughs> <laughs> You need to have yeah. sex more often. <laughs> so Damn. it was probably, it was probably <laughs> my most memorable Christmas because a, it was a white Christmas. It was our first Christmas together. Yeah. She so made me like a seven layer Kahlua coffee cake. Yeah. Yeah. Which was awesome. Maybe you made that for us. I'm sorry. Maybe like put in your order. Maybe it'll be a segment <laughs> on this show. And then on top of that, though, Brittany was working at a local newspaper. Mm-hmm. And she had she was working that day, yeah. and her job was a spot reporter. So we had to listen to like the police radio, mm-hmm. and 
So that, you got to feel like you were on a stakeout yeah. with a cute girl. And, yeah. <laughs> and on my birthday, we had to leave and go take pictures of like people it with car accidents. It was a car accident. Accidents. But we really couldn't get out because of the snow. So we drove a little bit and then we were like, okay, it's not worth it. Let's go back home. My, my no, boss we, will just understand. We did went to one that was that little river. Remember? Yeah, but I think we got there too late though. Well, yeah, and, we did. Because even though the accident happened right next to where I lived, we couldn't get there fast enough to take pictures of it. So... Yeah. But it wasn't that big of a deal. It was like, so my, my, for my job, I had to take pictures if it was a car accident where someone got hurt. <laughs> if it, if they said, came over the radio and said it's a 1050, uh, which is a car accident, 1050 PI, that means personal injury. If it was PD, which is property damage, I did not go. They did not care about property damage. They only wanted personal injuries. But if the weekend was really slow, which it often was in the county because it's a very small county, we had like... I think it's like 10,000 people total for the entire county. Okay. It's 900 people in the town, like, limits. Mm -hmm. uh, There's only three stoplights in that whole county. Yeah, there's only three stoplights. So, um... It's hard to get into a car accident If it was an extremely slow weekend, sometimes I would take pictures of, like, a a PD just to send it in, and they might use it. Maybe not. It just depends. Yeah. Um, So, I... I, We went out there, and they had already, like, cleaned it up. So, we didn't really have anything to take pictures of. Yeah, but we slid around on the ice, and it was a lot of fun. (laughs) Or next to a river. <laughs> but yeah, that was a fun Christmas. I like hung up a happy birthday banner and everything. So. Yeah, your yeah. family was like, Because I was what like, we have to make it. Like, it was the first, like, we had been together for almost a year, though, because mm. we started in April. Yeah. And I was like, we have to make, like, a birthday thing for Brian, so. Yeah, that was nice. I was like, that was pretty Sweet. cool. Yeah, mm. I try to be, I try to be good. And we never had a white Christmas since. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas well. is not my answer. Okay, great. Um. So I, unlike the rest of you, I'm, well, you're from a broken home in one degree or another. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, so, like, I, I typically, because my parents divorced when I was, like, eight, I when I think of Christmas, I think of driving back and forth mm. between the various different houses that we had to hit. Gotcha. Um, so, to me, that's still just kind of exhausting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Thanksgiving is probably one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, that's a good um, one. Hell, yeah. So, uh, my father's side of the family does Thanksgiving in Charlotte. Um, and I used to alternate back and forth between going to Charlotte for Thanksgiving or staying, uh, with my mother's family. Yeah. Uh, so it was a very binary, like there is no way that you can get back between these. Mm -hmm. Um, so as an adult, I use that to absolve myself of any guilt of like, well, I'm going here. I see them less often. Yeah. Um, but... Thanksgiving at my aunt's house is just a lot of wine and a lot of um, Charlotte, North Carolina art lesbians. Charlotte, Um, North Carolina art lesbians mm. sounds like the perfect everything. Yeah, it's it's fucking rad. Just like there was there was a period of time where we were always watching bad movies, Mm -hmm. and one year we watched all of Trapped in the Closet. Oh, oh God! I've never even heard of that. Yeah, oh. the R. Kelly. Uh, oh God! Rap you men or uh, uh, rap? You, yeah, no. this is like oh, right. The only oh, thing R. Kelly I've ever Lord. seen is surviving R. Kelly. <laughs> the documentary about all okay. the fucking children that he was yeah. like, "Hey, disadvantaged Actually, child." Thematically, you... yeah, trapped yeah. in the closet pairs really well with really? that. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. It's, yeah, I've only seen that in parts. Yeah. Well, when you sit down and watch it, you can figure out exactly where he realized what he was doing Mm. or like he his production staff became like became self-aware and they're like okay this is the thing we can lean into it but like the first 15 episodes Uh are like really good there's like this weird dragon ball z escalation of of like (laughs) tension but it's poorly executed so it doesn't make any sense and so it's so it's dbz style yeah Yeah. so (laughs) so i watched all of those um when i was doing an all-nighter uh to do a class assignment i was like of course i'm going to youtube to procrastinate (laughs) and then like i'm also like delirious because it's like three in the morning and i'm watching all of these freaking videos i'm just like what, what am I even watching? I, I've lost track of the plot. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Did I have it's, a stroke while I was watching this? I might have this had. is not reality. Yeah. You know, fine as I get older, I ask that question more and more. Am I having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> One of those days, you might. I might. We'll yeah. see if you smell burning toast Burnt or, toast. Uh, like, searing flesh. I heard some people say, like, flesh. Like, burning flesh is another thing, too. Mm, 
So. Interesting. So. That's part of the bread or whatever. Yeah, something like that. So it, uh, I'm going to um, jump rails here for a little bit. If I was going to pick a second holiday, though, mm-hmm. it's one of my favorite holidays that we all do. Um, You don't get to pick a holiday before I get to pick my Have holiday. you not done one yet? No. no. Well, then do one. Jeez. Was... We're talking about <laughs> R. Kelly's closet over here. All right. Here. Well, my favorite <laughs> holiday is Halloween. Mm. Okay. And Spooks I, giving. It, it's, I'm not like one of those people either that I'm like, Halloween is like my life, you know. Um, but I, I just love Halloween because it's the introduction to the holiday season, you mm. know, because I mm-hmm. love Thanksgiving, Christmas, and also a little biased because my birthday is November second, so I always associated Halloween with my mm. birthday. And the my one of my very favorite birthdays when I was a kid uh, was when I turned eight, and we celebrated my birthday on Halloween, and my cousins came over. And um, my uncle's girlfriend at the time made, like, this giant cat pinata. And it was the first time I had ever, uh, like, hit a pinata before. So we all went outside, hit this pinata, got all this candy. We had dinner. My mom made, like, homemade lasagna. And I had a birthday cake. And then we went trick-or-treating. So it was just, like, a giant sugar rush that entire day. That sounds (laughs) fucking awesome. And it was really Mm. awesome. And lasagna? Like, that's my problem, like, like, with... Halloween is half the time like I don't actually eat dinner that night. Yeah, no. When we, I was a kid, we had yeah. like a hearty lasagna. So that sounds awesome. Uh, Put some was, meat on your bones. And it was back, <laughs> and so it was back in like the late '90s. So we still went trick or treating at night because like mm. I think now <clears throat> it's very common for kids to go trick or treating early in the afternoon when it's still light outside. Yeah. Yeah. But when I was a kid, we like went not to be that person, but when I was a kid, we went we went trick or treating at night, and you would like, like fall God intended, and you would fall into like people's ditches and yeah. stuff because they had leaves like. <laughs> Into yeah. and you'd get out of the car and just like fall into a ditch but um because we had so many people that year we all rode in the back of like a pickup truck nice. around this like little cul-de-sac so we where i grew up was like a rural farm area but there was this one place in town called allegheny manor which was like where all the rich people lived yeah and we would like go around that cul-de-sac and get like all the candy and it was just Were they giving out know. the full-size candy bars no, you know, I've never actually been to a place that gave out full-size candy bars. I think it's an urban legend. <laughs> it probably is. So let us know. Did you I ever actually get have gotten to- full-size candy bars. And if I went by the country clubs, there was a couple people that were giving out, like, unopened like prepackaged, like, you hoos and shit. So like you'd actually get that's like the difference between winter. Sparta and Mount Airy. Yeah, it is. It's like it a forty five minute like difference. Fucking cultural I would, divide. I would, I would go in between the two country clubs because they had the best shit. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, we only had one country club and it was way, way out yeah. of the way. Yeah. It was so, like you know you've been right yeah, by my house. I've, I just had to walk there. So yeah. there but, were a lot of olds in the neighborhood that I used to trick or treat in. Mm-hmm. So it was always just like either individual <laughs> Reese's cups. And Mr. Good Bars, or just like Werther's. <laughs> Werther's this really is all great so far. <laughs> For me, it's those like those terrible fucking uh, peanut butter gum, like taffy things. I uh, love those though. They I come in those. like the black or yep, or yeah. orange yeah. wrapping. I don't know what they're called. I don't called. even know where you buy those. I don't those. know where That's you buy scotch, them. That's butterscotch, isn't it? It's not butterscotch. It's like a it's like a taffy, but in the center is like peanut butter. I never opened it, it because like I was too scared. To try. <laughs> <laughs> that was, this I'm, is where they hit the razor blade. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Speaking right. of which, did you guys ever find anything questionable in your candy as kids? No. No, me that neither. That never ever happened. That never happened. No, no, no. I was in mine. one that was open already, and my mom would be like, no, and that was the Mac. That I was, remember this one time we moved, uh, and we were living near this, like, uh, Moravian community, and mm. I went trick-or-treating in that area, and someone was giving out, like... Well, they went and bought, like, a big bag of candy corn and put the candy corn into individual, like, little Ziploc baggies. And um, my grandma was being really weird about it and was like, oh, this is not prepackaged. I don't know if you can eat this. And my mom was like, shut the fuck up. Like, it's (laughs) perfectly fine. Like, it's just candy corn. Well, it's like this year in North Carolina, there was something that was like, police seized 200 pounds worth of THC nerd ropes that's yeah. right or something <laughs> and he's going to give those away yeah i saw that like someone commented it was like no one's fucking giving their edible can- edibles away to fuck a bunch of fucking kids like yeah. Do you know how expensive that is <laughs> yeah like no it's not happening so but yeah i just love halloween um mm. it's like the start of the season i always decorate really early 
Like this year, I think I put our decorations up like in September. Yeah. Uh, and I just took them down like a little while ago. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. yesterday. Like yeah. the police showed up and they were like, ma'am. Ma'am, you have to take down these Halloween decorations. <laughs> we're concerned that there might be witchcraft. We, we, we took them down and then put up the Christmas put lights Put up Christmas immediately. Because, immediately, like, yeah. So, but yeah, I love, I love Halloween. Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh, that's cool one. stuff. Mm-hmm. Wow, we timed that perfectly. Perfect. All right, well. Sports. Sport. What? What? <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs>